Well, we hit a bump in the road yesterday with our free pick on Wager Talk TV as New Orleans and Sacramento easily went over the total of uh, 216 and a half. I had the under. And uh, like I said in a previous broadcast, you know what, folks, whether you win by 50 or lose or win by one, they pay the same and the same applies to losing. So, uh, yeah, uh, we were way off. But uh, in any event, 11 and five with the last 16 free pick videos here on Wager Talk TV. And that includes four and oh after a loss. So uh, off a loss and uh, we're going to win today. And if you missed uh, my other po- my other free pick video, I should say, you could get that right now by going to Wager Talk TV and uh, a free pick on another NBA contest. And that one was in the game between uh, the Indiana Pacers and the Cleveland Cavaliers. Boy, oh boy, I had a brain freeze there. In any event, all right, so uh, we're going to be talking NBA today again, and we're going to be talking about the game between the New Orleans Pelicans once again, and uh, as they'll be traveling to uh, the Bay Area to take on the Golden State Warriors and uh, a game that has implications for both teams is Golden State right now is in a dead heat at, for the number eight seed in the West. And uh, again, they're going to be part of the play-in tournament. It's a matter of whether they want to be in the seven or eight game, seven, eight game um, or whether they want to be in a nine versus 10 game. And it's always advantageous to be in the seven versus eight, because uh, if you win that game, you're in. And if you don't, then you have to take on the loser of the nine versus 10 and you have a second opportunity where in the nine versus 10 game, if you lose, baby, you're done. And then even if you win, you have to go on the road and play the loser of the seven versus eight. So it'll be advantageous for Golden State to finish eighth if they can. So my point being, there's a lot at stake. New Orleans has a one game lead over Phoenix for the sixth seed in the West. And again, it, you know, it, there's no way that New Orleans would not want to uh, avoid playing in the play-in tournament, especially in a Western Conference play-in. You know, you're going to have four good teams in that Western Conference play-in tournament, and there's no assurance you're going to escape that, even as good a year as New Orleans had. So they have a lot at stake as well. Um, and, folks, uh, here's the thing. Um, I'm looking at the home and away splits in this game. And both teams are very similar in that regard. By the way, Golden State is a four-point favorite as we speak, and the total is 221. New Orleans has been a lot better on the road than they have been at home. At home, the Pelicans are just 21 and 18. But on the road, they've gone 27 and 14 on the road, which is just absolutely outstanding. And they're coming off last night's 135-123 win at Sacramento. Uh, That now makes them 5-0 in their last five, 9-1 in their last 10, and 15-3 and in their last 18 away games. Uh, These teams have met twice this season. Uh, The road teams have won and covered on both occasions. And then that takes us to Golden State, where I said very similar in their home and away splits. And Golden State been a very good road team at 25 and 16 uh, and covering 27 of those 41 games. But at home, it's been another story. 20 and 19 at home, 15, 23 and one against the spread. As a matter of fact, Golden State is 10 and 20 against the spread as a home favorite this year. Now, the Warriors, I know a lot of you out there are going to chime in and say New Orleans is coming off no rest. Well, so is Golden State. And then you're going to say, well, Golden State's red hot right now. They've won nine of their last 10. And you would be correct in saying so. Uh, but the bottom line is, is out of those nine wins, seven of them come on the road. So they, again, I go to those home and away splits and they're laying four in this game. Uh, so there is a possibility they could win this contest and still not cover against a very good road team in New Orleans, who also has a lot to play for. I'm going to go with the New Orleans Pelicans here plus the four over the Golden State Warriors. That's the New Orleans Pelicans plus the four over the Golden State Warriors. Uh, Don't forget, you can get all of my premium paid selections. I'm on a nice roll with my premium picks right now, 35 and 22 since March 19th. Um, That's good for 62%, and uh, those players are up over 40 units during that course of time. Or if you're a $100 per unit player, 
uh, over $4,000 worth of profit. Uh, Major League Baseball picks since August 4th of last year, 59 and 35, good for 63%. Uh, my NBA sides, I had a winner last night. I lost with the total on the free side here uh, in the New Orleans game, but I also had the Pelicans plus one and a half against Sacramento, and they won that game 135-23, making my NBA side 77 and 51. And also my NBA totals are on a five and one roll as well. Uh, so you could, uh, that takes me to this. We have a nice offer for yours truly, Ross Benjamin. Like I said yesterday, and several of you took advantage of this, and I appreciate you doing so. Uh, $29 for my three-day pass. Here's how you could do it. Just go to my direct page, as you can see right there. The URL is uh, right underneath me, sm.buzz slash rb. That's sm.buzz slash rb. And... Uh, Click on the three-day pass for myself, and then at checkout, you put in the promo code RB3DAY. That's RB3DAY. That's $29, folks. I don't want to hear about you're not a big better, so you don't pay for selections. It's less than $10 a day. If you're a $25 a game better, you can make a good, substantial profit uh, with that type of investment. So a nice return on your investment, I should say more than a substantial profit. I don't want to be, let's keep it realistic. You know, if you're a small player and you have a good, good three-day run, you're going to make good money compared to what you're investing and keeping into perspective how much you're playing per game. So again, RB three day, $29. I have two picks up in major league baseball right now for Friday. And you don't want to miss those until the next time. Thank you for joining me on Wager Talk TV. Take care and God bless, folks.